Okay, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add new students uh, to your list of students in the database. So uh, we have to go to the SIMI site and to the login page and enter our credentials just as we did before. And uh, what we'll do is we'll select the add or transfer student uh, link. And in here, one of the key pieces of information that we must have at hand is the child's Metams ID number. So I'm not using real Metams ID numbers because I don't want to uh, mess up any data that you may have. So I'm going to enter in um, my sample one. But it does need to be a nine digit number and make sure that that Metams ID is accurate. And so we enter the student's last name, student's first name, and their middle initial. And you'll notice that there may be a little bit of jumping uh, of the screen as it reloads and refreshes. Um, <clears throat> if you can be patient uh, with us. This is a known this is a known issue. Uh, we're working to resolve that, uh, but just make sure you're clicked in the right box as you enter information. So we enter the student's birthday. It's in a uh, two-digit month, a uh, two-digit day, um, and then uh, four-digit year. We can select the student's data, uh, student's uh, gender rather. And again, there are these times when sometimes you just need to do something twice. Um, so this is kind of a training issue right now. If it doesn't take it the first time, go ahead and do it again. Uh, it's, it has to do with the way that the page refreshes with the server. Here on the date enrolled, we enter in the date that the student first began at your school. So I'm going to put in 09 01 2011 you choose what school. Now, most of you will only be assigned to one school, but if, in case you have more than one school, you'll need to select what school. And then, uh, finally, what grade is that student in? The class or group is what uh, teacher, perhaps, are they assigned to. So, <clears throat> if you're working with an intervention student, uh, they may be, they're probably in someone else's first grade classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a um, one of the teachers in my school. And then I'm going to click a button called Check. And what it does <clears throat> is if that Metams ID number matches another student in the system, it will bring up a screen that says Potential Matches. Now, I purposely entered a number that I knew that was unique so that I could get this page. I'm going to go ahead and I'll, after I add this student, I'll add a student or attempt to add a student that's already in the system. So uh, now I can go ahead and I can add other information that I know about the student, uh, like uh, what kind of free and reduced lunch status are they uh, receiving, uh, when did they get that, so if it was the beginning of this school year, um, we go ahead and enter that, what language they speak at home. And again, you'll just notice there'll be some of these that you'll just have to click them twice. Uh, and uh, we're well aware of that issue. Um, and um, we'll, we'll resolve it as soon as we can. Uh, if they are um, have a home language maybe that's other than English, uh, if their primary um, spoken language is something other than English, then you know their English proficiency uh, is um, something that you'll uh, need to pay particular attention to. Uh, they may not have an English proficiency assessment. Um, the same thing under disability. What I want you to do is if you can fill in this information to the best of your knowledge, uh, but some key pieces that are absolutely required, the Metams, the correct Metams ID, the correct birthday, when they enrolled in your school, and what grade they're in. You have to pay very particular attention that you get those pieces of data right to begin with because as you can see here you cannot modify them. All of these other pieces of data can be modified later. I'm going to go ahead and hit save data at this point on this student and I'm going to call it good. Uh, 
for them for now. I'm going to come back as I maybe gather some of this other information and I can update this. Now let's take a look at the case of the student that's already in the system. So now I'm going to ask for another student. I'm going to say I've got um, another student and they are uh, this Metam's ID number and I'm going to just check right here. Oops, I have to select a school and I have to put in this last, these last name. Uh, and it forces me to add this information and I must select a grade. Now when I hit the check button it's going to say potential matches. Now notice that there's another student already in my school with the same Adams ID number. His name's James Smith, uh, and he was born in 2005. So it calls into question either James Smith <clears throat> has the wrong Adams ID number, or the student that I just added has the wrong Adams ID number. So we can go ahead and create a new student that has the same Adams ID number as James Smith. But I will ask you, please. Don't create another student until you double check that that Madam's ID that you have is in fact correct for the student that you're trying to add. If it turns out that whoever entered James Smith got the ID number wrong, please contact us and we will fix the Madam's ID number to uh, the correct number. So again, if you try to add a new student, you've got their number correct, you've double checked that it's correct, you can go ahead and add them, but please, please, contact us and let us know that the other student in your system has the wrong number entered. Okay, so I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to add this new student. Um, and we can go ahead and we can continue to add students, as many students as we need to add. Now, uh, at this point, you folks are just adding a few students that you're working with. Um, it might be three, four, five, six, seven, eight students at the most. Um, once another teacher in your school has added that student, they will, you, they will show up in the list. So if there are several of you in a school working with a student, um, when you go to add a student um, and you see they're already in the list, don't add them again. Uh, instead, what we'll do is we'll see that under the Begin Intervention link that we can select that student that's already in the system. But that's in a different training video. So for today, let's, let's, for this session, let's just think about what we've learned. If we want to add a student, we enter the Metam's ID number, we enter their identifying information, and then we check to see if they're already in the system. If they're already in the system, then you don't need to add them again. If they're not in the system, you can go ahead and add the other information that you need to add. Uh, and if it turns out that there's another student with the same Metam's ID number, please contact us and we'll resolve that issue. So uh, I'm going to go back to my landing page and I'm going to log out. And that's it for this training video.